Hey everybody and welcome to King of Shadows 1111. This is Queen of Light 1111 here with your energy check-in. Now I'm going to do something very specific here um, for this reading, okay? So what we're going to look at on the collective portion of this reading only is what is Divine Masculine's energy uh, towards his feminine. Okay, what was it before the peak of the August 8th portal? And what is the energy today now that we've, you know, are coming down from that peak? I got to tell you, energies were intense. It felt like there were a lot of blocks. I felt like there were a lot of fears. There were a lot of things coming up to the surface for Divine Masculine that the feminine um, energy may have experienced as far as what masculine was going through and that may have even triggered feminine's own insecurities and fears and so it wasn't like you know an easy exciting lion's gate it was tough it was a lot of work and so um, we're only going to go over the overall energy and then what the energy is now post lion's gate for the collective here on youtube for my members of this channel, members only will get the in-depth portion here, okay? They will get the energy of what is what was in the headspace of masculine before, what is it now, heart space before, what is it now, and what was happening in the environment before um, and leading up to August 8th, and what is it now? Then we'll also look at where is the connection headed, okay? So let's go ahead and start with the bottom of the deck for what was Divine Masculine's connection. And by the way, if you want to be a member of this YouTube channel here, then go to the homepage of my channel and click on join, okay? There's only one level of membership. So um, here you can see the bottom of the deck is the seven of pentacles so before this lion's gate we see this energy of this man working typically with the seven of pentacles energy you will see the person just standing there looking at all of the things that he's invested you know what kind of crop is going to grow and we see here that the person is active they're actually working on you know sowing their seeds they're actually in this energy of um you know preparing okay it's this energy of doing all he can to cultivate some beautiful harvest. He's not just looking, he's actually doing the work. What's he doing the work for? Ten of Cups. He's doing the work for union. He's doing the work so that he can move forward and take passionate, uh, level-headed action towards his divine feminine. So his overall energy, bottom of the deck, for the before reading was that he's been doing some work he's been doing some work maybe you didn't see it maybe you do see it but this is telling us and confirming to us that he has been doing the work so now before lion's gate okay before lion's gate and up to lion's gate look at we get the strength card you can't make it up he was not able to be tamed his overall energy towards his feminine. He sees his feminine as this beautiful goddess, but maybe he bit the victory wreath. Maybe he was in this energy of pride and ego, and he wasn't quite tamed. Because in the traditional tarot, um, the where let me see where can I find the traditional tarot? Um, without because I'm not going to uncover any of these cards here. Because uh, in the traditional tarot, this is not quite the traditional, um, but you'll get the gist of it. Let me find the strength card. You're going to see that the divine feminine actually puts the, um, the wreath around the masculine or that lion's neck, okay? So I'm just going to try to find that for you all here. One second, 78 cards in the tarot deck here. But I just want to show you because it's very important to show you this bottom of the deck, which is this divine feminine unable to tame. And he was not tameable, okay? So in this energy of the strength card before, of course, the very last deck. So look at this. Do you see 
how she's tamed him. She's in the, he's in this energy of surrender. He's in this energy of inner strength. And here she has that wreath that she will put around his neck, okay? And so in this energy, what we're seeing is before, right? His energy before Lion's Gate, he was not tameable. He was wild. He was running free. And he was very guarded and defensive offensive and he was keeping a lot of secrets okay there was a lot of miscommunication because of this energy of ego the energy of restraint the energy of being unable to move forward with your feminine because of your pride okay so we see here before masculine's bottom of the deck he's been working on himself he's been working on his own emotional happiness he's been working on this desire of union he's been working on moving forward and what we're seeing here in this before energy is that divine masculine um, has been or had been in pride in ego in restraint you know he's in this energy not being able to be in his power to rise up to defend himself you know to fight for the connection instead he was in this energy of just like giving up not doing anything you know being very apathetic because he was holding a lot of secrets or he was just miscommunicating or not communicating at all okay so that was his overall energy before so now what is his energy now actually i'm not going to do that you're going to have to go to the members reading if you guys want to join the members reading click on join and join me for this next in-depth portion if you want to book your own personal reading coaching session or healing session go to queen of light 1111.com have a great day everybody